First tonight on Eyewitness News, a federal judge in Pennsylvania rules against the Trump campaign, the second blow to the president's reelection efforts in the Commonwealth in as many days. Good evening, I'm Joe Holden. A Pennsylvania judge is stirring national attention after tossing the Trump campaign's request to block drop boxes for Pennsylvania's vote by mail system. Eyewitness News reporter Alicia Reed, live in Overbrook with the latest. Alicia. Joe, the last two days have been a blow for the Trump administration as federal judges deny allegations of voter fraud and also the number of ballot drop boxes will remain the same across Pennsylvania. A Western Pennsylvania judge ruled security is sufficient at polling places. Mail-in ballots can count even if signatures don't match. This as they keep in mind signatures may change over time due to health issues and a big one. On election day, poll watch Watchers have to be from the area they're observing. The judge ruled instances of voter fraud in the past compared to now or in the future are so low that the Supreme Court says the Trump campaign's claims are unsubstantiated. The court also reaffirmed the election board stand that people can do more than vote at current satellite election centers. They're not actual polling sites, so poll watchers aren't allowed inside. On election day, poll watchers are welcome. However, they cannot be from outside. Outside the jurisdiction so as to mitigate voter intimidation. State law created the concept of poll workers, poll watchers. There is no constitutional right to be a poll watcher. And when the state law contemplated people going in to observe at the polls, they said that that person should have a stake in the game. That person should be from that county. That person should be familiar with uh, the law and the concepts of, that, of the state law and what the county's regulations are. Now, while the Trump campaign filed claims against the Pennsylvania Voting Board, it denied access to go in and check out how these satellite centers actually work. Reporting live from Overbook, Alicia Reed, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Alicia, thank you for that live report.